Hi, this is Julian from Repreo, and in this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate the power of the cash flow forecasting tab within the Repreo platform. Uh, so here you'll see uh, what the typical cash flow forecast tab looks like. I just want to keep your attention on the top left up here where you'll see the IRR updated as we go through. Uh, also over here on the right hand side, the export, you can export this to Excel or you can make this full screen mode if you're going to spend a little bit more time here. But we'll keep this as it is at the moment. So I've already gone through and allocated a lot of the costs just to save a little bit of time. But I did want to demonstrate how we can do an instant S-curve calculation or straight line calculation. So in the build cost, we've got the money cost here. We're going to start that in month one. We're going to probably run that for three months. Uh, as we hit apply, we're going to apply that in a straight line or an S-curve method. We'll apply that in a straight line method for the preliminary costs. Uh, it, we are also able to do multi-phase construction or if you've got different elements within your project, you've got a commercial tower, residential tower. In this uh, example, we've got an apartment construction and commercial construction. So this this uh, apartment construction will probably kick off in about month three, let's say it's going to take us up until month 12 uh, and we'll hit that apply and we'll apply that in an S-curve and we'll see that drop in here. Uh, as it would typically do. So we see that ramping up, ramping up all the way into sort of that 1.8 million mark here. Um, finally, down the bottom, now that we have all that costs in, we'll see that the, how this has affected the finance. You'll notice how it's affected the IRR at this point in time. Uh, and we're going to see the finance here. So we'll see our senior debt uh, provider kicking in at around month eight. We'll see our mezzanine debt provider kicking in at around month six. And if we scroll right down to the bottom, uh, past all these fees, we see the developer's equity along the bottom. And keeping an eye on that, we should see that uh, profit drop in at the end, which we do. So that's a few quick and easy tools that you can use in the cash flow forecasting for a player.